Pew. And Giesling in group one. And then group two is going to be Frost Prime, Flak Blag, Sinvicta, and McLaffy Taffy. I'm, I mean, Corey won last time. So a strong I contender, definitely clearly. am going to put my money on Corey yeah. to mm-hmm. uh, be able to do something again. Uh, but I mean, I don't know Frost Prime and Laffy Taffy's Bellatro skill level, so it's hard for me to. Frost is good. He Frost knows. Is pretty good, yeah. yeah, he's like a super Slay the Spire like um, player, too. Like I, he's I just... put my money on the Slay the, the Spire nerd. Card game yeah. connoisseur is that Frost Prime. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, uh, McLaffy Taffy, I've been watching quite a bit. He got a kind of, he got the latest invite to the event, but he has been practicing in earnest. I, I've been keeping an eye on him, and he's been playing a hell of a lot of Bellatro. So I think he's getting as ready as he can get. But he also just told me that I think his highest score was still in the millions, or like the hundreds of millions at least. So he's getting up there, but he's not he's not quite to where. If he you can get hundreds of millions, you have, I think, a fundamental understanding. I think like, you're right. Yeah, I think um, that's, I think that's true. Dan Giesling, how are we feeling, man? You ready for today? Yes. You talking about practice? <laughs> What's up, guys? You guys just picking dark horse? You know, right? I think I think you you have a bigger chance than I would initially p- p- pin you for. And not to say anything about you, it's about your competition. We're usually we're amid a, a crew of gamers here, and the 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 uh, bar is high. But I that- think you're ready to meet it today, man. I'll tell you this: it's we're going one place or two places. One. We're staying on the ground or going to the moon and no one's even going to touch our smoke because that's how Ooh. we play we play for the big dog we're not just going to hit here doubles and triples bear we're swinging to hit a ball from utah all the way back to vegas and then back to utah again if you know what i'm this, saying this man is, is a man after my own heart i love to hear it well uh, let's look forward to that uh i i think we also have a northern lion in our midst ready to go though when you join the call late and everybody's podcasting already <laughs> oh man, how do you bust into that vibe? It's too early in the morning. What can Not you do? Like that, man. Wah, 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 <laughs> wee, wahoo! Let's do, let's do, let's do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you guys for doing this. I, I'm looking forward to the uh, event today, and uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to uh, see a couple of you guys in the wild. I'm definitely going to see a couple of you guys in the finals. I'm not saying this is the, guaranteed there no will be chance. a couple of yeah, us but, in the finals yeah well anyway regardless thanks for being here as you guys know the rules are fairly simple for this event we're just going for the highest round score possible here no plasma deck otherwise everything is up for grabs any jokers are fair game any other deck is fair game uh and you'll get you got two hours highest round score moves on to the finals on thursday y'all y'all ready to go beautiful i'm ready yes chef we're gonna what, start what, right what on time with this man playing? What deck sorry, is everyone playing? What oh, deck is deck. everyone playing? Any no, deck. but what? Oh, sorry, exactly. like, what what's Dumb Dog doing? What's Melty yeah, doing? What's Ryan doing? I'm playing, I'm playing the Ghost Deck, Dan. Uh, ghost always Deck. Always take Obelisk, Dan. Always. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Don't listen. To ghost them. Deck. Ghost Deck. All right. What are you okay. gonna play, uh, Ryan? I'm curious. Go, I'm gonna play the Ghost Deck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. No, wait. I'm playing the Black Deck. I meant sorry. Oh, jeez. All right. You're going, uh, what was the, what's the, the absolutely awful one that's just like a plus two hand size and minus one jokers or something like that? Well, like, you don't like, uh, that, uh, I like that deck. You don't like that? All right. Well, you know what deck I don't like right. is, um, one consumable slot and you start with the telescope. Oh, God, yeah. As no, far as I'm concerned, that deck can get thee to a nunnery. You can All shove right. it. Exactly. I'm all loaded up. I'm ready to start the timer. You guys feel free to, uh, head to whatever voice room you like here in the channel. Okay. Uh, but I think we're ready to go. If you guys can give me a seems good. Seems good. good. Go, ready good. to start. Hey, Mary, thanks for organizing this. It's going to be fun. Thanks for being here, man. I'm looking forward thanks. to it. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and start. Okay. No! I'm, I'm four. I'm, okay, I'm four. I'm four. I was the last person to join the call. I felt like I should be in the bottom uh, Discord. Anyway. Balatro. Play. I don't want to. Bra- I was playing the ghost deck last night. Can I show you something impressive? I also was playing the nebula deck, the deck that you was hanging with, and we got a, an easy blue stake victory, the easiest victory in my life. I guess we're playing on white stake, huh? Now that I think about it, we can kind of chill out a little bit. Okay, white stake ghost deck because Apollo said the ghost deck is the best deck. It's a tricky choice, right? It's a tricky choice. Um, I'm going to say none Joker for now because I don't want to make a smiley face polychrome. And I'll run a quick sigil on you. Although now that I look at it, I'm like, you know what? 
It'd probably be better to sigil after we get a flush. Because we'll play like five of one suit. And that way we're not nuking an entire suit if we get a different suit. Like this being well balanced seems perfect. They became diamonds. It's a beautiful thing. And then we can sort by rank, but that's okay. All right, there's, there's some sense and sensibility involved in this one right now. But we got a long way to go before we start worrying about millions or trillions or billions or E or whatever. You know what? I, I'm just a simple man. We could always sell Vagabond at some point if we have to. But getting those tarot cards is amazing deck-fixing abilities. Now, $50. There's some meat and potatoes on that. <laughs> Aura Steel doesn't work. It doesn't work. You're right, you're right, that makes sense. One of the most frustrating things as a, as a streamer, you ask one question and everybody's telling you to do something that you did eight seconds ago. It's not your fault. You're probably still on high latency. Maybe you're watching on mobile or something like that. But it's like, we're moved past that. That was day one of class. Now that you all got the syllabus, we're getting into the required reading now, okay? Luckies are kind of something we're gonna rely on to take us to the moon. If we, if we want to get the highest round score possible, give me a chance at plus 20 mult instead of a guaranteed plus 4. You've only got to hit it once. So you have to take driver's license. It's a great pickup. I think you dump it. You dump Hiker, finally. Especially because we're oftentimes literally playing like one card. How about some cool queens, bro? Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. No cool queens. Sad story. I'm going down to zero. I don't care if I'm going down to zero discards. I'll pog up any day of the week. And we just got this Andrew on our team. Let's not mess about here, okay? Let's not mess about... If we only get one card out of this, one tarot card, I can live with that. And one planet, of course. We need the planet. 502,000? No, brother, that's pretty good. And we got a long way to go, but like... We're starting pretty good. I think we, we haven't got hone yet, but I got a fish for like beautiful diamonds. I would take that any day of the week and twice on Tuesday, which it is today. Flips and shuffles, all jokers. Well, we're making it through anti-8. I'll, I'll promise you that. Vagabond out as soon as we see a good joker. Previously, I would have called you insane. They would have called you a madman. But I actually think you're definitely right now. Sorry, let's get this out of there. Um, because we are finally capable of creating our own tarot cards. Which previously was not accessible to us. So I'm a, I'm a simple Andrew here. I actually just play this because we can't discard. We'll have zero discards. Then we won't be able to generate any tarot cards. So that was 47,000 for nothing. How about like, this is the worst hand I can muster, bro. It's too good. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do what I can, okay? Now, this is the dupe. You get... Yeah, I mean, although it'd be nice to, at some point, because you're hollow, we could convert you. But now we're asking for, th like, 35,000 different tarot cards to show up. But it's possible that it could, that it could happen, man. It's possible that... I think you're right. I, I'm, I'm stealing this from chat, but I think you're right. Because we discard this every time it shows up anyway, who cares if it's a diamond? You can dump the steals, man. You don't, you don't need to hold them. It's unnecessary. I would even go so far as to say it, it's insubordinate and churlish. Now, this is a big one. Here a font temperance. 50 bucks, little man. Put that stuff in my hand, as, as they say. How about one, two, three discards? 
Tower card is the easiest sell in all my days. Uh, don't be scared. You got nothing to be scared of. You play a basic seven. Okay, now my I think that the death card is worth like eight random tarot cards. So you know what I do? I take my fifty dollars and we win. Not even worried about the glass breaking. Okay, obviously don't hit main menu on that. Now this is where shit gets real, okay? If we're gonna go to the moon, we need ectoplasm. That's nice to have. That's very nice. I don't think we need, I mean, it's 50 bucks. If you're not giving me something truly special, give me that. Joker order. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the lock-in. Jupiter gives you 1.5 Exxon flushes if you hold it. Yeah. Why would I want that right now? I'm, I'm farming tarot cards, bro. I'm yelling timber. Hand size, uh, a little rough. No joke. No joke. I guess we might as well. You never know. Not really what we're looking for. Okay. Literally, you're going to crush Swashbuckler, but Swashbuckler is fucking negative. But that means we can sell Egg and then run Fortune Teller instead because Egg is only giving us 45 malt. I'm keeping Vagabond. Don't even worry about Vagabond yet. Oh, sell the Queen one. <laughs> Makes way more sense. I just feel like, I mean, it sounds crazy. What do we care about 52 malt? which is not even 52. What do we care about 45 malt? Now that we got 78, that's gonna go up by like 10 every round. Sack satellite? I know you're getting blind right now, cause you're like, you know, we have so much money. I'm telling you, we, this, is, this has saved our run. You're putting no respect on it at all just cause it doesn't have sharp teeth and a cape. Sell me. You know why? We, we make big swings. That's all you need to know. We make big swings in this bitch. Now you need idle, right? Egg is temperance. It doesn't matter. No, but you need you need it, bro. You need it. Egg makes temperance work. No disrespect. You don't know what you're talking about. Why? Why do so many people in real life? They're like, I don't care about money. In the video game, they're like, money's the only thing that matters. Like, what are you? What are you talking about? You got your priorities backwards. Okay, we got an issue here. I can't make Vagabond work. <laughs> it's all right. We got good stuff in hand. For one round, we chill. Swashbuckler's ass now. You don't understand. You, you're only looking at the... You, you, the problem is, for you, for you personally, you have too much loss aversion. Wait a minute. I can't play flushes. <laughs> Why can't he play flushes? Well, it's more like I've only got... Um, five cards in my hand, so it becomes very tough to guarantee that we get it, but it's okay. So what we get sober, so what we smoke nothing. We got enough lucky cards. If anything, Hanged Man will go crazy. Two molt if you got a pair. I mean, it's, brother, it's two molt. Our flat mold is not impressive. What's impressive is our multi And No, just more steals. More steals. We go no. A lot of people don't understand the kind of... The kind of cookery I'm getting up to here. What tarot cards are you looking for? I wouldn't expect you to understand that I don't have an answer for that. It's illegal for you to ask me that. <laughs> Feels like Vagabond can go now. Is honestly... Kendrick was right, man. A dollar might... Make that lane switch. And that's just how you feel. And there's something a little bit sad about that. But I think you're right. It can probably go. I mean, at the end of the day, it is... Uh, just 1.5x molt. We seem to be generating enough tarot cards for ourselves. Steals are useless now. Yeah, um, honestly, you should mind your own business. Do you, you see that? The, the card is made of steel. 
It's not like it's hard to spot, you know? It's not like it's easy to miss. Should we ban him, Chad? What do you think about that? He probably meant in your- Why are you so charitable with the trolls, bro? When he said it, he doesn't like you and you're stupid, what he meant was, you're not stupid, but you're not as smart as he is. You're even worse, man. You're the enabler. That's a two for one. Two can fucking dine for $9.99 on that one. Okay, we got to go next, but there's a problem because as soon as we sell judgment, we can't use Vagabond. On the other hand, who cares? <laughs> now that I think about it, because it's not like we're doing shit with Vagabond anyway most of the time, so you might as well just... Oh, what? <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, don't, don't even sweat. Don't even worry about that one. This is what I meant to do. Needle incoming? Oh no, it's a fucking needle. Okay, what should we do? I don't know. How about play like a three million point hand? Listen, that would have beaten the needle. The reason it didn't win here is because we got base chips and mult halved. I'm just saying, if anything, you guys respect the bosses too much. That's all you need to know. There we go. Four million point hands. Sell showman. I don't just sell hands eyes. I don't just sell things. Okay. You have to replace it with something. You don't just go on Facebook marketplace and sell your bed. Okay. You're not going to have any place to fucking sleep. You need to sell it for a good reason. Like pursuing a career as a professional Fortnite gamer. Six hand size, we're pogging. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. I'd say we're pogging. I'd say we're definitely pogging. What do we need here? 7.2 million? Is that all? Okay, Vagabond and Showman both have to go. Let her rip. Let her rip once more. <laughs> Let her rip for a third time. <laughs> There, okay, okay. Time to start selling some jokers, bro. Fuck vagabonds. Okay, no jokers in the shop. That's a funny joke. Honestly, probably at this position now. Oh my god, I just turned it into the wrong card. <laughs> save my life, save my life pack, okay? There's something. I just took away 0.25 molt, bro. Plus three hand size next round. Playing a flush sets money to zero. Don't threaten me with a good time. Why are you laughing? I have two dollars. <laughs> it's the thing I, I've been saying it about Balatro like crazy. People don't even know what they're chatting at, bro. They're just like, they just see text and they're like, <laughs> that's funny. You got two discards. You should use one. We already got a flush in hand. Keep, oh, you're using it on two cards, huh? Well, I'm grateful. I don't care if it, it, it's not going to ruin Vagabond because we're going to get set to zero dollars anyway. Okay, we, uh, you're going to laugh. We actually win these. We just need a diamond, which is like impossible not to draw. Twenty-five million. Okay. <laughs> oh, we need. A, okay, that's an insane joker, bro. That's that that could keep us in the game and get us a new high score. Now it's all about like preservation at this point. We probably won't live through the next, uh, even the small blind, but 
We can get over 25 million in a round. Okay, 25 million. Keep it, keep it straight in your head. 25 million points. Hi, buddy. I'm dumping the steals. I don't even care. We got card sharp. That's what it's there for. I'm not dumping a polychrome for, for no reason. If there's a good reason, we send it. 25 million points. 23 million. We just need one more flush. So we play, we play dog shit. And then we get a flush. Sorry, he's gotta go. I can live with that. 33 million points. Okay, next run. Don't even sweat it. Next run. I don't even... We're unlocking stuff. It's crazy. Hello? 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 Try my best not to terrify you as I enter the Discord. Mm, I appreciate it. It was, it was very coquettish. So I'm not going to lie. That Vagabond run that you just managed to clear 25 mil on, I was shocked that that went as far as it did, especially when you went down to that five hand size. That and was uh, people were was complaining wild. the whole time. <laughs> Every decision great. ever being made yep. was just being poo-pooed nonstop. Yep. But uh, that that is good enough for uh, second place currently. Okay. What's what's first right here. now? You're feeling pretty good. Uh, first place at the moment is Dumb Dog with a score of all of the points. So it's in the E's. It's in the E's. Yeah, we are. We've already got an E contender here. He's, he's cooking, man. I, I, I don't know if you want a sneak peek, but we've got uh, some Red Seal Kings with the Baron going on. It's uh, okay, Red it, Seal. It's, it's well, some madness. First, I copied his deck. Now I'm going to copy his run. Yeah, no, go for it. All right, best of luck. Thank you, thank you. That's tough. What does the Baron do? <laughs> Every king you play gives you 1.5x mult. Kings in hand, kings in hand. Reason again to let you know he's the man. Would you be upset with me if, <laughs> if I ran the exact same fucking thing? Please no. I mean, we're fucking doing it. It's just a question of whether you want to complain about it or not. I looked away for five minutes and the clown returns. Oh no, he got the most fun fucking joker in the game. <laughs> it's good. It's a good thing, bro. It's a good shop. Probably sell your only common. Duplicate Vagabond for the moment. Please give us the seed. You haven't earned it yet. I mean... <laughs> Honestly, this is probably better. Cutting two pieces of garbage out of the deck to get more... Oh, when you, when you hang the man a glass card, it still makes the sound. I like it! You cut a club? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about all that. We're on a... Our plans are measured in centuries, okay? Now, there is a part of me that thinks taking the... I mean, the idol's uncommon. I think long-term, we don't really care about Onyx a gate. We'd rather run idol, hoping that we get as many face cards as possible. I think it must be done. And if we lose immediately, then honestly, that's just what we in the business call skill difference. You have to take, I mean, the, the scaling from Constellation will go too crazy. I have to get rid of something. But I can't get rid of the idol, right? <laughs> it has to be idle. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of Vagabond. That's not happening, bro. What's 1.5 to the power of three? It's like three point something. I think this lad goes, bro. He's giving us three mults. This guy is going to pass three mults. Without a doubt. He doesn't do anything else. All he does is give us three mults. Get rid of Vagabond? Absolutely. It's not going to happen, bro. 
It's anti-5. We got so much more work to do on our deck. If we're going to get rid of Vagabond, then we have to get rid of Idol first. Because Vagabond is what is going to enable Idol to work at some point. Okay, here's what we do. We get rid of Idol now. We bring it back at a later date. I'm sorry to do this to the strength card, but it's got to be done. There's no other option. How about right now? Don't tease me. I saw it. I feel like the family is just better than baseball card, bro. It's, it's 4x. This is 1, 2, 3. Is 1.5 to the power of 3. That's less than 4. By a little bit. <laughs> Sell Vagabond. You are wrong, and you will sit in your wrongness, okay? Brother, we don't have enough purple seals yet. At some point, we might. See, Vagabond is useless. Dude who's never learned calculus. Look at the value of Y at X, bro. This fucking cooked. You ever hear of a function that does this, motherfucker? Blueprint on Vagabonds? Listen, it's also possible to respect Vagabond too much. One extra discard, things we respect. Fuck you, man. What the hell? What did I do? Okay. Invisible Joker. I think it's right. And I, I hate to say it because I've been talking a lot of smack. I think it's Invisible Joker and you dump Vagabond. It's too good. Almost anything it gives us is amazing. If it gets Sock and Buskin, we're going to the moon. Blueprint, we could do it. We, it's the best possible outcome. Family, extremely good. Hallucination, still lots of tarot cards. For that to be the worst possible outcome, we're, I'd say we're straight chilling, bro. Sold one round after talking it up. You ever hear about a little thing called motherfucking sell high? No, of course you have it. How those Teladoc shares treating you? No, oh, we don't care. We don't get it. It's fool's gold. It's fool's gold. Dump it, dump it. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. I can't dump that. Dump it. Lover's card. Don't do it. Don't do it. Reconsider. Justice card. I love it. And we don't have a, a Vagabond anymore. So we should just send it, bro. We should just send it... We should just send it straight up. Look at that. Use glass? I'm not... I'm not using glass till later. She's trolling. She, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a few times in a row, I'll give you that. But the, every single time, that's trolling. You know it's trolling. I know it's trolling. I'm willing to send it. Whatever you copy, I'm not going to cry. Beautiful. That's that's the the best possible outcome for going to E. I think. It's a very good one, at the very least. Planet cards, please. We're certainly not going to do this. Planet X, that's a great card. Thank you so much. You know, I'll reroll a little bit more. Strength could come in handy. Brother. <laughs> I can't, I can't, because I can't sell anything to... It's a fucked up situation where every Joker is like, wow, but then, brother, we could sell family and still win easily, and if it copies another constellation or sock and buskin, we're going to the moon, man! I can't believe it, but it's happening. Not the family. Brother, constellations at 3.1 plus 10 versus 4 with a condition? The joker you've been hanging with? Cell hallucination? It's negative, my dog! Get out of my face. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, sure, we've only got 36 cards in our deck. 
sell me. Don't wheel. Oh, you know what? I could wheel because if I wheel, it can only hit blueprint. It can't. And whatever this copies. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, so wheel me first and then sell me. That's exactly what we want to see. So I don't think realistically we're, we're probably not going to be able to beat Apollo's score just due to his run being amazing, but also time. But um, maybe second, if we're if we're not still in second, maybe there's a chance that we could eke out second and make it to the make it to the next round. Ran the calcs. Okay, here we go. Five glass blueprint on sock and buskin gives E12. Blueprint on Constellation is 600 billion. Check it out. I told you! Now we save Fool for the Justice. It will happen. We got five minutes. I think if we're shooting for best hand or best round, we don't want to do best round on a boss blind. Mars, we take. Wait, no, 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 we got it. Two minutes. Two minutes, you got to beat the boss. Playing a high card sets money to zero. How is high card still our most played hand? That's it's insane. We don't play our glasses yet. Don't don't get confused on this one, okay? We don't play our glasses yet. That's why I'm dumping glasses. We play our yeah. It's the wrong one, bro. We don't. That's the right one. Okay, so first. You play your luckies, okay? I, there's a method to the madness. We pop this all on the small blind. Why didn't you put it on the red one? Because I want to make sure that I'm putting it on something that I can actually guaranteed play on the next fucking hand. It's not going to help me if I put it on that and then I don't draw it on the next fight, y'all. You're not thinking. I'm the only person thinking here. Everybody else is just typing. One minute? One minute, we got plenty of time. Just give me Planet X. We'll, we'll split the difference. We go next. We play it. We would love to draw Red Seal. We don't sweat anything else just yet. Well, technically, you know what? We do. We sweat this. No, because we could draw two Red Seals. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Has vindication ever felt so sweet? It stings to only get three glass, but at least some of the glass are triggering twice. Okay, send it. Send it. Maybe they won't break. Ninety-four million. <laughs> that was ninety-four billion. Oh, okay. Ninety-four billion. I'm not sweating. Ninety-four million. I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> uh, Ryan just uh, grabbed a new high score for himself at the tail end here on a Glass Kings build. He scored, I think, just shy of a hundred billion. So okay. not quite into the ease territory, but you know, at least something respectable. Mouth just he just had a rough day, man. He just couldn't get anything cooking today. Never really cleared a billion or anything close to it. So just not not his day, I guess. Hey, you know what they say? Any port in the storm. Good luck in the uh the second session, Barry. And hey, I'll see you in the finals, buddy. Yeah, looking forward to having you, man. I'll see you there. All right, see ya. Yo, GG's, GG's. GG, GG Dan, GG. How you feeling post tournament? Is it over? I know we're out of time, but someone said you could keep going if you're if you're mid game. Oh yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Cause we I mean we, we measure our plans in billions right now. We're not quite at E, oh, but okay. this guy's got stacks on stacks on stacks. What are you cooking right now? I can't I, I honestly I have to go deafened on you. Just okay. for the, the, the spirit of the game. Yeah, yeah, hey, uh get ready to learn. Can't imagine how that sentence would end. Game. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, get ready to learn uh, not making the finals, buddy. How many glass kings we got in this? One? <laughs> but we only have 17 cards left in our deck, bro. So you go for it. We got it.
Okay, so this this will probably break every glass king and it will be the this is going to end our game, which is okay because this is where we're going to top out for now. Like you're right, if we're going to do that, we should fish for steel. You're absolutely right. We have a couple of steel cards left in the deck. Discard these two. There's one. Discard this one. Did what we could. I appreciate that. Now we send it. The last thing, I need someone to crunch the math on me here. It's better to get an extra retrigger at this point, right? It's two to the power of five. So it's an X32 versus an X9.5. Okay. 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 Well, I never had a choice. Send it. Double it, 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 double it again, 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 double it, double it, double it, double it again, 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 again. E to the 14. Two steals, so we're on par with our last one. And another death card. <laughs> well, here's the thing, brother. I I'm not playing. I'm not playing the death yet because I want the steals right now. We'll use the death card. Admittedly, some of them might break. We got to save it for the next round, bro, to keep it going. And then we're not getting... This is the ideal hand. It's the ideal hand. It's the ideal hand. And you put the... Does it matter? Do you put the chips first? I don't know. Does it matter? Death for chips. It's the right idea, but I want to I wanna keep it going. I want... I, I'm, I'm not going for all in on anti-12. We're going all in on anti-35. One broke. One broke, but the other stayed and we're on E to the 15. <laughs> all we got to do is keep making seven of those every time we play, okay? Give me an Emperor card, buy it. Boss blind clueless. Hang on. What do we care, bro? What do we we get? We're gonna get a tri oh, actually, that kind of fucking sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> That's kind of ass. Well, okay. Th actually, there's there's things to think about here. Namely, blueprint now goes on constellation for sure because they're all gonna be debuffed. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not deviating. You you have to give me a negative. Reroll for Luchador? No, if it's if if that's what it takes, I'm not burning up my whole run just to get Luchador. It's not gonna happen. Why not get extra discard just in case? Because that's not what this voucher does. Okay, next question. Let's just see what we're dealing with. <laughs> we're fucked, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right. We had a good time regardless. Flush five with five steals? I feel like we're entering the Twilight Zone. I only have eight hand size. How am I going to play five cards and hold five extra cards? Strength some kings? I don't have any fucking strength card, man. We're just, we're playing fantasy land. You know what? I will, I'll, I'll give it a chance here. You, you gotta get dumped, I hate to say it. We need more steel, and then play four kings. Still chilling. One more king. No! Oh! <laughs> yeah, it wasn't gonna get us there. Okay, okay, we're, we're tapped now, but that was like, it's probably like my second best run ever, my best run ever. The boss blind kind of fucked us. I think we could have gotten like a few extra levels of E on that one, but. Balatro, bro, what a game. What a game. Did you reroll the boss blind? The videotape was not in stock, my brother. It's out. <clears throat> These people cannot be real. Listen. I was about to say maybe the rudest thing I was going to say. I was going to say 7 billion people on Earth, they can't all be winners. <laughs> that might be a little harsh for just writing some trolling comments in the Balatro chat, but... <laughs>
That is, that is how I felt in my gut when I read the comment, I'll admit. So how'd you do in the, thir- in the tournament? Third place, which is actually like, I would have, I just got to give some credit to Dan for clutching up, but also, what was Malf's high score, man? Malf might be conditioned to the to gold stake, whereas everybody else is, I mean, I, I've watched Dan play on stream, he's got some decks that are up there, but 44 million, sometimes you just don't get it, man. Sometimes you just don't get the tools. Did you do drama in high school? I did not. Um, I was in a couple school plays in in middle school. That's about it. Were you in comedy club? I didn't go to a school like that. We didn't have comedy club. There was, uh, my school had like three electives and like five clubs. That's it. Rural school? Yeah, it was it was pretty rural. Like the the way that I could illustrate like how small my school is, KCVI asked, what are you talking KCVI is like one of the biggest schools in Kingston. You know oh we're still gonna lose. <laughs> you know not of what you speak, Kilburn. I know why you mentioned KCVI. It's because it's the school that's attached to Queen's University. The way that I try to illustrate how uh, rural my school was, or how few people were at it, I suppose, is um, in terms of electives, like sometimes you'll hear people be like, what, what, what language did you take in ninth grade and 10th grade? People are like, I took Spanish, I took Mandarin, I took, uh, I took Japanese, I took Portuguese, I took fucking French. And if you wanted to take something that wasn't French, you gotta change schools, brother, that's it. You got no other options. <laughs> it's all we had. And even then, our French class, like you had to, come on, man. You had to take it in the ninth grade, but from the 10th grade onwards, you didn't have to take it. And in 10th grade, I was like, fuck it, there's no other electives anyway. I might as well take it. I took, um, I took French. And there were so few people in 10th grade French that they just rolled it into the 9th grade class. So basically, I did 9th grade French twice. Like in principle, the second one, we got like an extra 15 minutes of 10th grade instruction every day. But like in practice, I don't know if that actually came to pass. What did, did I just play nothing? So what we smoke crack? So what we play nothing? <laughs> How many kids were there per grade? I can't afford anything here. Um, like 60 to 80, I would say. My school has less than 10 students in some grades. Is your town like no longer existing in 20 years? Like, how do they have, a, no disrespect, but like, how do they have a building? They shut it down two years after I graduated. Honestly, that makes, like perfect sense. <laughs> Graduating class of 13 here. I think I had like 80. Now people are gonna say like that's not that small. It fucking is that small, bro. There's people out there there. Oh, you're just buying hold on this one. You know what? Send it. There's there's people out there going to schools with like graduating classes of you know 400. There were people I went to university with. We would be at like a party. And they would see someone and they would say like, hey, did you go to high school name? And I was like, I can't fathom that experience. Not knowing everybody who's in your graduating class is like a foreign concept for me. The same way, like if you have 10 people in your class, I'm like, how does your school exist? If you have like 1500 people in your graduating class, I'm like, what are, do you, do you take your classes in like an airplane hangar or something? <laughs> I, I'm sure they've got it all figured out. I just don't understand it. My graduating class had two people. Okay, this could be based or sad. Did it have two people or did only two people graduate? Don't type cot. Homeschooled. <laughs> Homeschooled twins. I saw the, the discourse. I saw the discourse about the time loop with Gary Kasparov. I am, personally, I am a believer. The question was, that's a good point, we should buy this. The question was, 
let's assume some joker stuck you in a time loop, okay? And the only way to get out of the time loop, you, it's Groundhog Day, you live the same day every day. The only way to get out of the time loop is to beat Gary Kasparov in a game of chess. You have no study materials. You can only learn from the game, but you remember every, like you remember the events that have happened when you wake up. Gary Kasparov does not. How long does it take you to beat Gary Kasparov in a game of chess? I might be glazing Gary Kasparov a little bit. Me personally, I would say, don't forget yours. you're here forever. He lost to a computer? Well, that is true. He did lose to a computer, but he, oh. <laughs> he also beat a computer once. I'm a believer that if you're an average chess player, you'll be there forever. If, if right now you're like sub 1000 ELO, maybe forever is not the right word, but I would say you would probably reach the point of frustration where you would just wake up in the morning, jump off the roof of like your hotel and then wake up in bed again. And you would probably do that. Like you would rather do that than lose in chess again to the goat. Why is the objective to escape though? I gotta give you a little piece of advice. When somebody poses a hypothetical to you that involves something that's obviously not possible, you just answer the question because the question is posed to reveal something about your personality. It's not, not, not conversation is not like an escape room, you know? It's not like I'm gonna beat this person in conversation. Let's talk about it. two weeks. No, you're crazy, you lose. Next question. You, I should have known from the first thing you said, but the second thing you said means you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I play the same moves every day and memorize Gary's responses. You, it, it would probably still take, if I had to guess, it would take you 100 years. That's not even back of the napkin calculation. There's literally no calculation involved whatsoever. That might be your best way to get there, but it would probably take you 100 years. No way you can flowchart the moves. Brother, because here's the thing, you think, oh, the chess game is only like 50 moves long. But just because you learned his move doesn't mean you know what to do against it. Gary Kasparov can probably come up with like eight better moves for every single move on a chessboard than you can. So, you, you, I mean, you're getting to the point where it's like, you know, eight to the power of 500 or so, or 50 to the power of eight. Like, you're getting up, and then you still got to beat him. How would you handle this hypothetical? I guess I would just uh, fucking embrace oblivion. Like I would just, I would, the first thing I would do is tell myself there's no rush. <laughs> You're gonna be here for quite some time. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Honestly, all the people saying like, I only have to win once. Gary has to win every time. There was a kid I went to middle school with who told me like his dream in life was to run as fast as the speed of light. And everybody was like, that's not possible. And he was like, if you believe in it, it's possible. <laughs> and I'm like, you listen, I guess like he could have like a medical emergency or something. <laughs> but Otherwise, I, you're, you're cooked, man. Like, you're... Gary Kasparov, he's good at chess. Haters will say it's fake. That kid's name? Yeah, Barry something. Would it be better to practice playing against him or practice cheating? Again, I'm not gonna let you weasel out of this. See, the next time somebody tries to weasel out of one of these hypotheticals IRL, I'm going to reply to them with concern trolling and it's going to get a same type attack bonus. I'm going to say, bro, why are you trying to weasel out of the hypothetical? Is everything okay at home? They're not going to know how to answer. And it's, I mean, how would you answer? I guess is what I'm trying to say. One more discard remains, huh? Discard. I'm howling at the moon. Um, let's, sorry, <laughs> let's move on. How do you know that song from My Little Pony? <laughs> I've never seen My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, but I have seen a video of a guy 
Must have been 2010, 2011 at his high school talent show, made what I would describe as an inadvisable decision to sing one of the songs from the show by himself on stage. Did he own it? I guess what I would say is he didn't not own it in the sense that, I mean, he believed in what he was doing. He had 100% confidence in, in what he was doing. Brother, this just makes sense. This makes so many sense, it makes a full dollar. That guy's probably making 250K a year now. Oh, no doubt. He, he has a skill that like only he himself on planet Earth has access to, for sure. There's no doubt about that. He's smarter than I am, there's no doubt about it. He probably wins Friday Night Magic every week too. That's not meant to be an insult, but it's also not meant to be a lie. Does he have a cane? I don't know, librarian, just leave this poor guy alone, okay? I watched the video 10 years ago. I don't remember the exact specifics. Why, why are you asking me these, like, like I'm being deposed right now or something like that? I'm about to lose in Balatro. Like, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. I'm about to win in Balatro, man. It's just... I don't recall. Oh, okay, well, slash marker me. I gotta go to the bathroom. I still don't know if it's the right video. Okay, here's here's what I remember. I feel like he has the... And I don't want to... I'm not dunking on the kid. I just want you to know it's the right video. So we're not dunking on two kids, okay? He's got dark hair. I feel like he has Rivers Cuomo's haircut. The camera is like pre-smartphones having great video. So it has a little bit of like an 07... Uh, like 2007, not a salute, a 2007 video quality. And he is holding a cane, if I remember correctly, and he's like spinning it around and he's jumping a little bit, going, Discord, we're howling at the moon. You know what I'm saying? I think you just watch the one you he linked. It is this one, okay. <laughs> you No, don't say we found him. You found the video. I hope the guy's chilling. I'm just saying that was the reference. I'm merely bringing it up as the reference, okay? Discord! I'm howling at the moon. It's, it's sleeping in the middle of a summer's afternoon. Discord! Whatever they do to make you take the world's way. Discord! Are we a prey alone? Or are we just a stepping stone to take you back to the moon? This poor guy. I, I mean, if anything, like, I feel bad. Because, like... You know, I specifically don't have a moment that embarrassing for my high school career. But like, if I did, at least I went to high school to 02 to 06, nobody was filming that shit. It's gone to the, the only thing it exists in is our increasingly decroted memories, right? But now kids these days, they get embarrassed. Like there's an embarrassing moment in high school and then they gotta like answer for it the rest of their lives. Wait, what were you thinking when you got up on stage and did that? Well, I was fucking, I was 15 and my brain wasn't fully developed yet and I made a mistake. I took my, my most embarrassing high school moment for sure. I was, I had hair in high school. It was in university that I shaved it off and I had like the Lance Bass cut. And then um, I got like color hair gel. So when you put the gel in, it would like, put neon color in your hair. And I got a white hair gel. And then I, to this day, I couldn't even tell you why I did it, but I just, I was just like, it looks cool. And then like on the side of my head, like here on my hair, I just put like a white line here and a white line here. And then I was like, that looks fucking sick, bro. And then I went to school and as soon as I got on the school bus, Everyone was like, what the fuck did you do to your hair? And it was like, shoot the bus driver, like shut the door. And the bus pulls out and you're like, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> and I got roasted from 7.01 a.m. till like 3.30 when I, the bus dropped me off and opened the door. And I washed that shit out and threw the hair dye in the garbage can. But at least... 
It wasn't immortalized in a video where someone was like, look at this dude, look at this dude's hair. And I'd have to, I would be like ninth grade and not know how to deal with that kind of attention and be like, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, I think like if anyone ever, you know, you're an adult now, someone brings up like an embarrassing moment from when you're in high school, you'd be like, yeah, I don't know. I was in high school. What do you want me to say? Like, I'm not Mike Glambin versus Raindrop in my real life, bro. That was just like four years when I was in a, a brick building prison. We've all got embarrassing moments, I'm sure. So if anything, we don't bring it up to insult the person. We bring it up to share in the trauma of very confidently doing something that is overtly embarrassing with just a little bit of hindsight. None of us in high school were embarrassed at all. Yeah, well, listen... My, my demographics have changed. Probably half of you spent three quarters of your high school career in remote learning environments, which is not your fault, but like you miss out on that formative experience of being insanely cringe. Graduating pre-08 feels good. You thinking you're slick. Typing pre-08 when obviously you fucking graduated 07 or 08. <laughs> It was 08. Yes, I know, I know, okay, obviously. Then you didn't graduate pre-08. You graduated 08, brother. Listen. What happened in 08? This dude graduated. <sighs> Let's do this shit. Oh, fucking the YouTube video, bro. Okay, slash marker. <laughs> Let's, Let's do this stuff. Let's not swear at the start of the video. Oh, man. This is so doable, except for Paldea plus Area Zero DLC. What is this? What in the Andre Tartakovsky is this? Grass poison. It's Tangella. Okay. I mean, it's made of grass tangles and is poisonous, but whatever. Poison ground. We go through this every time. It's Nidoqueen. Poison legendary. Toxid, toxa, toxicity, to, toxicity in our city, in our city. <laughs> Sorry. Toxicity. Tox, you don't look legendary because you look like you evolved from Toxel. Poison grass. Hmm. Chloro. Tox. <laughs> Are you seeing the. How I accidentally come up with lots of right answers in Pokédoku. How about Toxiclor? Hmm, Poisono. Leaf. Leaf. Perp. Hmm. Groby. Grow via? No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. That's bait. I don't know. Purple green guy. Bulbasaur. You ever hear about this? No, 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 no. Butterf no. Butterfree must be flying, bro. It's not grass. It's not fucking grass, you idiot. But fucking weeping bell. You're going to tell me this motherfucker's not poison? Maybe, maybe it waits until he becomes victory bell. Oh, okay, okay. Poison legendary, honestly, I got no shot. Perp. Fucking cough, cough, super coughing. Scovillain, holy. Silly Cobra. Honestly, I'm tapped, brother. I'm not going to type in a bunch of wrong answers just to do it. <laughs> Eternatus. The hell is this Undertale? What in the Toby Fox is Eternatus? Etri and Odyssey? Least common. Monkey Dory. <laughs> I just have never... What the hell is Ogre Pond Wellspring Mask? Bramblegast? It's a fucking tumbleweed, bro? I just went to the mall. It was underwhelming. It always is. And that's why I love it. You always know what you're going to get, man, when you go to the mall. At least I always know what I'm going to get. $8.99 two entrees plus fried rice at the Flaming Walk restaurant. 
plus maybe an orange Julius or like a, a booster juice if we're chilling. Maybe a couple bath bombs at Lush. Swing by Kiehl's, get some facial fuel. After that, I'll buy some soap. <laughs> and then maybe uh, every time I go to the mall, I get some pants. Because I always like, uh, I would say I rip two pants between every mall visit. I visit the mall once every eight months, I would say. We know, we know, okay, sorry, sorry. I got washed in connections. I, I'm, I would just love to perform up to a certain standard today, even if we don't get it, you know, if we don't get all four categories, I can live with that. Microscope. <laughs> Shield. Arms. Iron. Iron. Iron dryer. Brush comb, coat and shield, oil brush comb, range kettle, dryer, iron. This doesn't feel right, but these are four appliances. Range is what we in the Commonwealth countries call a stove. By the way, I think this is our red herring. Things related to your teeth. You wouldn't, they wouldn't use Crest and Scope unless it was a category that was like brands of dental hygienic products. So I don't think it's going to be Crest. Otherwise, it would be mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush. <coughs> Pardon me. My two cents, at least. I'm going Kettle Range Dryer Iron. I trust it, bro. Not even one away, okay? So that might be our red herring. Coat, shield, steel, and oil. Things you do to your fucking car. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm washed for real. <coughs> you boil a kettle. You boil oil. Mm, let's move on. A range, an extent, a scope. <coughs> And a reach. A breadth of something. Oh, okay! You can coat something, shield something, steal something. Steal. A lean knight. Brush. Kettle. Kettle cooked. Oil cooked. An ear of corn, a kettle corn, a corn brush, mm, shrub, mm, lecti. Don't know if it's going to be rearranged on this one, brother. This game's impossible. It's it. They, they, they put fucking Satan on the puzzle duty for the New York Times this week. Lend me your ear. Lend me your shield. Shield crest. Steel and iron. What are... A coat of arms. Coat. Shield. Arms. Crest. Yes! Heraldric terms, of course. Oil, oil, kettle, steel, oil, iron, comb, oil, brush, comb, iron. You could iron your hair. You could comb your hair. You could brush your hair. And you could oil your hair. Ear hair. <laughs> hair. Wait. Hair. Hairbrush. Hair comb. <laughs> a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush from, from Goodnight Moon. Ear hair. Steel hair. Hair, hair dryer. Hair dryer. And hair iron, hair tools, oil, steel, kettle, ear. I was fighting for my life on this one. Q 
Corn. <laughs> Corn. Drums. <laughs> oh, man, that was a tough one, man. That was tough. I had to fight for that one. But I'm proud of myself. Would have been easy to give up on it. Sometimes you just got to talk to yourself until your insanity becomes sane. Music genre with Jamaican origins. Ska. Sound of Spring. Boing. Sesame Street character who sings Dance Myself to Sleep. Should know, but don't. Religious offshoot groups. Sects. What you might use to test the temperature of a bath. A toe. Well, since you asked. Knit. Ages. Best Oreo. As loud as fuck, boy. What was the one I, I skipped on? Ernie. Ernie dances himself to sleep. And then Bert probably goes like, Ernie, come on. I got to go to the Tulip Festival in the morning, Ernie. Oh, sorry, Bert. Yeah, I'll go to see you in the morning, Bert. Good night, Ernie. Good night, Bert. And then Bert's like finally getting ready to go to sleep. And then Ernie starts snoring loudly. And Bert just looks up with his fucking knitted cap on with the unibrow. And that's the end of the sketch. Oh, man. All right. Now we can finally get some sleep with some nice peace and quiet. <sighs> oh, boy. Ridiculous. <sighs> Ernie, Ernie, you're snoring. Ernie, <sighs> that's not fair. You think Bert and Ernie are gay? Yes. Like, listen, I'm not, and I'm, I support it. That's what Sesame Street's all about, bro. But like, they're not roommates. And they were roommates. Oh my God, they were roommates. They share a room. That's a different story. Two dudes living together. One's got a bed. One sleeps on the couch. They got two bedrooms. Those are roommates. Two dudes who sleep in the same room. That's a couple. The hell is this, man? The Solomon Islands? Indonesia? Micronesia? <laughs> Macau? I don't even think that shit is a fucking island, bro. The one that we always forget. Starts with Brunei. No. <laughs> United States of America, bitch. Better recognize. The Philippines is actually such an obvious one. I thought it was like, I thought it was rotated. Is this the Mercator projection or is this some kind of cooked projection, man? Not at all. I, they, this must be my monitor. My monitor's messed up, man. My monitors have been acting up lately. It's the eclipse. Yeah, I stared into the eclipse for too long. Someone in chat brought up a good point. Cavemen must have been hurting the fuck out of their eyes during the eclipse, right? Like, they didn't know not to look at it. They were probably like, what the hell is dark now? 
And then like the next day they were like, they only lived till they were like 30 anyway. Yeah, I guess. That's a good point. <laughs> also, it's true. They did probably like go insane when they saw it anyway. So maybe the, the blindness was like the least of their concerns. It's probably just holding the fabric of a burgeoning society together when witnessing a cosmic phenomenon beyond the scope of your understanding. Damsel to Nimona. Okay, so we got an issue here because I have to make some connections. I don't know who's in Nimona, and I only know that Millie Bobby Brown is in Damsel, and I only know that she's also in Enola Holmes, which I think has Henry Cavill in it. So I'm like seven different layers deep. But let me just take a peek at this for just a moment. I know where I want to go. Angela Bassett, the score. Robert De Niro, Meet the Parents, Ben Stiller, Zoolander, RuPaul, Nimona. Angela Bassett, The Score, Robert De Niro, Meet the Fockers, Ben Stiller, Zoolander, One, RuPaul, excuse me? Can somebody do a check? RuPaul's not in Zoolander One? They replaced RuPaul with Donald Trump? This is before RuPaul was a thing? Brother, RuPaul was, was kicking it in like 1987. What do you mean it was before RuPaul was a thing? It's simple. You just have to get to Nicolas Cage. It should be so simple. Nicolas Cage. My ass was immediately like, boom, adaptation. The movie where he plays himself. <laughs> That shit got Meryl Streep in it, bro. That shit does have Meryl Streep in it. Okay, I'm, I'm lost. It can't be hard to get to Nicolas Cage, bro. It's Nicolas Cage. The Rock. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, fuck. Um, Sean Connery. Fucking Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford. Fucking, ah, oh, shit. Um, no, no, it's so doable. Christine Taylor, Dodgeball, an underdog story, Rip Torn, Men in Black, Tommy Lee Jones, The Fugitive, Harrison Ford, Sean Connery, The Rock, Nicolas Cage, Kick-Ass, Chloe Grace Moretz, Damsel, I mean, Nimona, Christine Taylor, Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Rip Torn. Men in Black 1. I guess any of them probably work. Tommy Lee Jones, The Fugitive. Harrison Ford. The Last Crusade. Sean Connery. The Rock. Nicolas Cage. Uh, 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 kick ass Chloe Grace Moretz Nimona Time <laughs> Oh That's not real That's not real Hmm Angelina Jolie Liam Neeson Judy Dench Hmm Me taking attendance At the Hollywood High School Jolie, Angelina, Jolie, present. Liam Neeson. Do we have a Liam Neeson in the class? Do we have a Dame Judy Dench? Does anyone know where Liam is? People, why are we, what Donald Trump is teaching today? I'm substituting. I've learned from some of the best teachers in Hollywood. People. <laughs> Dane Cook yes he's very funny people Dane Cook from the Jeff Dunham school of humor don't worry about all that if you didn't want to eat a delicious lunch at home you shouldn't have been sick this morning it's that simple okay 
Angelina Jolie, three or more word title. Easy. Girl Interrupted. I mean, uh, Tomb Raider, uh, Cradle of Life. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Dash, Cradle of Life. 12.9%. We take those. 1990 to 2010. We go Gia. That's a given. $100 million at the box office. Any number of options will work here. Me personally, I'd probably go Salt. It's crazy. People were really fucking seeing anything back then, huh? <laughs> People would really just see whatever. Okay. $100 million plus at the box office. I was about to put Tomb Raider in this. That doesn't make any sense, bro. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. So Liam Neeson's career is fucking Dark Man, Schindler's List, who knows? Phantom Menace, who knows? Taken. <laughs> so I'm, I'm confused about where I'm going with this one. I don't know where to go. I'll take 1990 to 2010, Schindler's List. $100 million at the box office, Phantom Menace. That's 8.8%? What happened? Top 46% of play. Because oh, Taken was a... Oh, because they used it for three or more word title. I see. He's in Batman Begins. You're right. You're right. He's in Batman Begins. Bro forgot about Darkman. I think Darkman came out before 1990, bro. Came out before 1990. He is in Kingdom of Heaven. Oh, it's a three or more word title too. <laughs> I just saw that. He does die in like three seconds. Dude, honestly, like kind of sucked as like a duke or whatever. He's like 60 years old. He meets a dude and then is like, I'm dying. You're my successor. And you're like, what the fuck? You've been alive for 60 years. You just chose some guy you met on the street. Like you didn't develop any like familial connections or nothing back in your, in your ducal lands. Like what happened? He was his son? Yeah, but like, fucking, he probably had like 20 of them, right? <laughs> it was back in the day, bro. It was the first crusade. Well, I guess it was like the third crusade or something, but fucking suck ass Duke. That's what I'm saying. Rugby. Rugby. Rugby is such a funny name for a sport. I bet people who manufacture teddy bears are like punching the air that rugby got taken for sports. Would be such a good name for a, a new teddy bear coming to the toy store. This Christmas, everybody's got to have rugby. I ain't loving you. What's up, brother? Featuring 12 catchphrases. Background. A noun meaning the scenery or ground. Teaspoon. A noun meaning a small spoon. By the way, I don't expect everybody in chat to know this, but do you guys know that kids' toys are fucking cracked now? Like, we went to a play date on Saturday, and there was a Furby there. But it wasn't a fucking 1999 Furby. It was like a 2023 Furby. That shit was speaking English. It wasn't just going, you know, It was going, like, give me some food, please. <laughs> help! Help! They trapped me inside this Furby! Help me! I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta check. And now they cost like a hundred bucks. But I feel like I, I whiffed on a joke. I've been whiffing on a lot of jokes IRL lately. As you, my charisma is at zero, I guess. But the mom was complaining that like the Furbies, the Furby that she bought for her kid was a hundred bucks. And they were like $29.99 when we were kids. And I said, well, if it makes you feel any better, if the technology from that Furby came out in 1999, it would have been like $50,000. And she just kind of hit me with like a, like a sip. She didn't hit me with any laughter or nothing. Thought at least she could say like true or something like that. <laughs> There's no way you said, of course I said, what am I supposed to say? True, by the way, how was your weekend? No, I'm fucking saying weird non sequitorious shit in this bitch. We clown in this motherfucker. Great. You broke it.
I hit F5. It just put F5 in the text box. It put F5, F5 in the text box. Now it's got F5, F5, F11. It's not reloading, guys. It's not reloading. Yo, thank you. So you need to like eat or it will follow by. Okay, thank you. Your hand? Your hand? My hands are dry. Your hand is moist. It's dry. Look, I'm, I'm holding it up to the camera right now. It's dry, bro. It's dry. They are very cold, though. I don't know why I'm so cold down here. Your lifeline says you're going to die today. No! <laughs> Chibli soup, pork belly, pork ears, shiitake mushrooms, garlic, ginger, sugar, white pepper, vinegar, water, oyster sauce, oyster sauce. We're going to take a guess on China here. Sekba. Maybe I could like get this and I'll just say like hold the ears. Sorry if this is... Uh, is rude. I'm not sure if I'm an ear guy. Isn't that what they give to dogs? Like you buy it from the pet store and then a dog just chews on it for like 10 years? Yeah? <laughs> okay. This is fucking... What is this, brother? Stuffed crust football? <laughs> what am I looking at? What is this? Fish, usually, usually vendace, vendis, or salmon, pork, salt, and pepper, onions, potatoes, and pork fat. <laughs> Would you eat the forbidden football? This feels like Denmark to me. But brother, look at this. No, I love fish. Look at this fish, man. It's still got like the stripes on it. <laughs> it's still... They didn't do anything to it, bro. They just caught it and threw it in the football. You literally put the fish in the bread and throw that in the oven, huh? That's crazy. It's allowed to cool before being sliced. Sl you, you bake it and then you slice, like, and then put it in the toaster. Kalakuku. A traditional Finnish dish that originates from Savonia, the eastern part of Finland. It literally translates to fish rooster, which refers to the shape of the dish resembling a rooster. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I've only seen two photos, okay? But I feel like something's missing. Something got lost <laughs> in translation here. <laughs> it's a bit of a reach. Buckwheat flour, bacon, potatoes, onions, garlic, butter, salt, and pepper. This, why is this shit so fuzzy, bro? Like, I'm not sweating it, but like, what is, what's wrong with the meat? Why is the meat like they use the magic wand tool in Photoshop? It's so fuzzy, man. Ireland? Well, okay. That's not the United Kingdom? Holy, bro. There's no shot this is France, right? What else could it be? It's France, bro. What the hell is this? Oh, it's 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 Breton. Okay, so oh, it's right. Listen, that's how we got tripped up. It's from that little part of France that's like stretching out to England. They called the shit this fucking this is the name of the fucking food they eat in Dune, bro. The dish is typically cooked in a large pot and served with a thick buckwheat flour dumpling called fars. <laughs> no, man. It's actually kind of crazy. This is why America is the best country on earth. Just hold, okay? So many societies had beef. So many societies had bread. Only America could invent the hamburger. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Why did it take until January 1st, 1776 for the hamburger to come into the historical record? Just another example of American exceptionalism. You know what I was thinking today? Don't be mad at me. Actually, you're all going to say plus two. 
It's already cringe, but it's going to be even more cringe in like one year. Delete every post you've ever made on social media. That's literally, it starts with this. I asked Chad GPT to write a Frasier episode that has the cast of Arrested Development in it. And then you just post the world's largest image that's like eight paragraphs of Chat GPT writing something. No one's reading that shit, bro. It's not going to happen. That's like posting your Wordle scores in the modern era. The fact that it's so easy for Chat GPT to make it is supply and demand, bro. The, the fucking supply is infinite. Why would I demand to read it? It's dreck. It's, it's nothing. It's, it's a grain of sand on the beach. We don't care. Delete them and then pretend you never made them. AI hentai pretty good lately. You're probably, it's too late for you. Why do you need AI hentai? It's not real anyway. You could just draw that shit, bro. That, does, that just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't have the skill. Honestly, like no disrespect, you have to stop jerking off so much. Because you, if you need such a specific stimulus to make it work, you fucking blew out your, your rangefinder. Just to be honest with you, you got to slow your roll. You got to get to the point. You got you to take a tolerance break so that a stiff breeze gets you going. And then you'll then go look at your internet search history and let the shame get deep set into your bones and then live the rest of your life, okay? It's driving me crazy, man. AI, AI, AI hentai? None of these words are in the Bible. Can you imagine? Like, it's, I, I'm, I'm joking. Like, people are laughing, and that's great. Because that's human. Can you imagine to, to jerk it off to something a robot made? You're like a, a traitor to the human race. No disrespect. Some fucking machining. The only thing you can masturbate to is, is machined. You know how fucking sad that is? You know what a cosmic disappointment that is to me? The only place you can get arousal is, is a destination that can only be made by a factory. There's no skin or hair or flesh or breath or heat. Just chrome. Just, just fucking smart rocks going click, 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 click. Don't, even, don't even know what they're doing. You're, it's, I'm mad for humanity. And I'm mad for the computer because you got it cooking up this stuff. It, it's innocent, man. It doesn't know what it's making. You're typing in some shit. Major, Major Kusanagi getting fucking obliterated by a giant octopus. It's just disgusting, bro. At least support an artist. Get some commissions or something like that. That's the, Oh, it's expensive? That's the price you pay, okay? That's the price you pay. Or you can just jerk off to Google Images like the rest of us. But first, you're going to need the tolerance break, okay? Because it's not going to work for you just yet. You got a long way to go before you go to Google Images and type boobs in there, okay? Grandpa style. I'm sorry, this is... I'm, I'm sorry, because I feel like it's kind of a, a, a bad take, but everybody's plus twoing me, so we're like piling on. If you're that horny, that only like one fucking specific thing can get you off, you have to be rich. Go back to school, go to an in-demand industry. There's lots of demand and very limited supply. Learn a valuable skill, own your own business, and fucking get your pockets up, bro. If you, or curb the horniness a little bit. Come back down to the rest of us. The water's fine, okay? If you need ChatGPT to write the, your, your interests are so specific, only a machine learning algorithm can spit out something that gets your red blood cells pumping, you need to be a billionaire. It's the only way. The drums. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got some silk shirts. No doubt about that. So Whitney Houston jam? No, no, it's not. It's a Brian McKnight. It's a Brian McKnight. It's a boys to men. 
It's Monica. It's Brandy. Okay. It's Gangster's Paradise. It's not Gangster's Paradise. Unbreak My Heart, Tony Braxton. Oh, silk shirt, bro. That song was everywhere in 1996. There's no doubt about that. Ooh. Fucking say you'll say you love me again. And fucking something, something. I don't really know what she said because I was eight years old. Oh, 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 I am fucking done. Okay. I was born in 1993. I've never heard this song. Tony Braxton is like the first Avatar until Avatar 2 came out. Everybody was talking about it when it came out. And then like afterwards, 19, January 1st, 1997, everyone said Braxton, never heard of her. But when Unbreak My Heart 2, The Way of Water comes out, you're all going to be sorry. Sorry, I'm eating some noodles. We got nothing else to do anyway. It's tasty. Never been a Jaja Myung guy, but it's, it's tasty, man. How can you take Korean food seriously with those names? What do you mean? The names that are in Korean? Chili's menu. Let's talk about some serious foods, okay? Especially in the appetizer section. Would you rather have triple dipper? So like three appetizers and enjoy. Served with dipping sauces. How about a dip trio? Choose any three skillet, queso, white queso, fresh salsa, fresh guacamole, or house-made ranch. Served with corn tostada chips. Texas cheese fries. Wow, those look good. Skillet queso. Southwestern egg rolls. This shit isn't real. None of those words are in the Bible, bro. How about chicken crisper combos? You ever have the honey chipotle chicken crispers combos? You ever get something from the guiltless grill? Like the margarita grilled chicken? You ever order to go alcohol from Chili's and get a Presidente margarita? <laughs> or a Chili's gallon margarita? I don't take your restaurant seriously. If on the menu, I see a registered trademark symbol in the food name. That's not a restaurant. That's a business. They can coexist. But as soon as you print the little R with the circle or a TM or something like that, you lost what got you into the game to begin with. I'm in Chili's. Like I'm going to see Chili's on the menu and be like, which Chili's is this? What are you talking about? Oh, the lawyers made us do it. You're a restaurant. Why do you have lawyers, bro? You should get like one lawyer when somebody like dies from eating broken glass in their food. You don't need a firm on retainer. You serve quesadillas. Coke Zero has a TM on the can. Hang on. Oh, motherfucker. All right, I poured them all out. So another restaurant can't make the El Nino Rita until someone makes a skinnier Marg. Benny Safty voice from Oppenheimer until someone makes a skinnier Marg. What do you got in the bowls and quesadilla section? Chicken bacon ranch quesadilla, just like they used to do it down in Oaxaca. How about on the lunch specials menu? What do you got in there? Oh, the Chipotle Chicken Fresh Mex Bowl. That's a good one. Bacon Avocado Grilled Cheese Sandwich. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Why is he looking at the Chili's menu? Because someone insulted the name of Jajangmyeon because it has two repeating syllables. If no one knew shit was going to go down like this, you're absolutely right. He would have only taken one motherfucker on the arc. Great sketch. What about Noah having to choose... Um, which of his family members he takes on the ark 
And they're like, Noah, Noah, take us all. And he's like, God said two of every animal. So... Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Did Noah tell his wife about the boat? No, he's a boomer. He probably didn't even talk to his wife. Real boomer is Methuselah. Imagine being Methuselah and saying, like, kids these days, and then, like, Zachariah's like, Dad, he's 135 years old. He's only, he only seems like a kid to you because you're 400. You know what I'm saying? I don't know enough about the Bible to make jokes about the Bible, which is probably for the best. People tend to not have as much of a sense of humor about it as I would like. You should stop. No, I'm just going to do it harder. So-called nothing is off limits in humor Andes when someone jokes about something they consider off limits. <gasps> you're allowed to joke if you've read it. <laughs> what if I've said I've read it, but I haven't actually read it? What do you think about that? Am I allowed? Me pulling up the stream tomorrow? You guys ever hear of the Council of Nicaea? I'm just saying, bro. What do you guys think? Where do you guys fall on this Council of Nicaea stuff? I know it's in the news a lot lately. Do you feel like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are three distinct entities, or if there, are they all just facets of the Almighty? <coughs> they're the same and they're separate? Holy cow. I'm starting to see why they had that damn council. I never thought about it that way. I didn't think about the possibility that the limit does not exist. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you don't know the Council of Nicaea? Isn't that where, like, uh, all the, the ecumenical mathematical calculators got together and decided... Uh, they were like, we all got to get on the same page. There's too many heretical sects. Trent Reznor voice. Heretical sects. <laughs> Should have cut the stream a little short today. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is gold. Keep talking. No. When the stream's over, I got to take care of my child. Nah, maybe we'll go late today. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I do have to. I am stalling, though. And what, we got 10 minutes left anyway? It is my right. Have you guys been seeing the jokes um, on Twitter that are like, what if... But these are homemade! These are not Chad GPT. What if Sex in the City was like in Seinfeld and then the end joke is always like, Carrie, big is moving to Paris? I wanted to do one of those, but it's like the Beatles. Paul McCartney is like... My other, I'm struggling with the fact that the other members of my band resent me for being the only person here who wants to take leadership over the enterprise. John Lennon is like, my band members don't like my new wife and yet I'm singularly consumed with trying to create free peace or world peace. George Harrison's like, nobody respects my individual artistic contributions to the brand, uh, to the band. And then Ringo Starr, big is moving to Paris. Just let it simmer in my work, man. Hello, honey. You got some bananas. Oh, I see. Mommy already cut it for you? Yeah. You don't want to eat it, though? It's a good banana. How about you have one piece and I'll have one piece? Okay, well, thank you. I'll, I'll have a piece of banana. Yum. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. It's a fun age when they're not telling you they hate you and you're evil. <laughs> Give you the what? The bowl? The banana that you just gave to me? Now you want it back, huh? <laughs> I see how it is. One day I love you, next day you're too big, you're scary. I know how that is, man. I, I've been living that life as well. She's pretending to write, like she can't really write yet, but she'll draw like a picture and then she'll pre pretend to write on the picture. She wrote one for her mom yesterday. It said, mommy, I love you, I love you forever. She wrote one for me. I said, what did it say? She said, 
It says, you are evil and you are my enemy and you smell like poo-poo. I said, all right, I see how it is. Didn't think there was a need for all that. There's like 12 different insults all wrapped up in one. Four minutes left, huh? All right, I got a feeling this is not going to get us to 13,000. We go again. <laughs> Three minutes, bro. Skip me, skip me. That's a good question. Can I get a one in chat if you've ever stayed overnight in a store or the mall without security knowing? I'll tell you straight up, I obviously have not. I'm not that cool. But like... As a kid, I endeavored as much as possible to not accidentally, like, get trapped in a store. That would have been, like, my worst nightmare. But, like, how do they make sure that nobody's in the Walmart when they close it up, bro? Mm -hmm. That thing's, like, a billion square feet with all sorts of places to hide. They close the Walmart? Yeah, but what if you're inside, bro? You suffocate? You don't, you don't suffocate. You're going to be fine. I mean, they just stay open. I feel like you guys don't have an answer, and instead of just saying, I don't know, you're coming up with lies. You're trying to weasel out of it. There's non-24-hour Walmarts, and even if there weren't, let's think of a store that's not Walmart, bro. You look everywhere? I'm sorry to say, I simply don't believe you can look everywhere. They have overnight associates? So, wait, you're telling me that guaranteed they're gonna find me sleeping in the, in the tent? They're going to find me in the outdoor section, in the tent, just because I got a cooking stove running. You should IRL stream it. <laughs> Wasn't that a thing for a while? Viners were going to, to malls and then, like, live streaming after they got stuck inside. For you, like, you might have a beard now and have been 10 when that was happening originally. I forgot how to speak English again. I have had a beard the whole time, so you got to just understand that, like, I... I was just unaware of this phenomenon. For me, it basically happened like last year, even if it's 10 years ago. Motion sensing alarms. It's like Ocean's 12 up in that bitch. I'm dead. Well. <laughs> good timing. Good timing. Here, let me, one second, I'm going to go see if my wife's ready. Imagine if I came back with a tan. Dude, that's what I should do next time I go on vacation. I should just leave the stream live the whole time and then come back in like seven days with a tan and then be like, oh, sorry, someone was at the door. That'd be a good, that's, that's a germ a bit. Yeah, exactly. Ex and a ponytail. <laughs> All right, let, let me make sure Kate's ready to go. Be nice to my wife. She's had a long day taking care of our, our sick child. I know it's been a long day because like when I went upstairs, she was cleaning something and she just went. <sighs> I'm like, I, I have had that feeling myself many times. When she throws a bunch of shit on the ground and then while you're cleaning it up, you get it like 85% cleaned up and then she takes like a cup full of pencils or something and then just tips it over and you're like, all right, I'm 15% worse off than I was before I even started cleaning. Would have been better off just uh, holding your arms so you couldn't have done that, I suppose, and letting the first cup of pencils just be on the ground. Okay. I type slash raid lovely Momo into the Discord slash raid lovely Momo. There you go. 10 seconds and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Baby. Oh, baby. My girl did not go to daycare. Cause she was throwing up. I think it's because she said yesterday at her daycare, the daycare provider gave her coconut cakes, and then 
I think it was too much sugar. And I think it got her all sick. What the heck is happening? Thank you, Librarian, for 50 gift subs. Holy, thank you very much. But I'm now I'm starting to kind of regret setting this goal. I got peer pressured into it. I got peer pressured into it. Leaks aren't that bad. Oh, no way. <laughs> wait, hold on. Just hold on a second. <laughs> just wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm not prepared for this. And stream. And stream. <laughs> Kill the stream. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it right now. Oh, man. Rex. Mechanica, thank you very much for 50 so gifts up. Thank you. you. Oh, kill the stream. Kill it before we reach it. Kill it before we reach it. No, no, you don't understand. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> it told us thank you very much with the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. And Puck Jr., thank you very much. Mori Whoa with 10 gifties. Holy. Thank you very much. And Danny23, thank you Leak so time. much. Thank you. Again, Rex Mechanica, thank you very much for 50 gifts. Oh my god. So I'm gonna kill the stream. <laughs> No, this was not how it was supposed to be. Too close to sun. Thank you very much for five gifts. Yeah. <laughs> I. Oh, oh God. Thank you, library for twenty gift subs. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> I think. I think I have to end the stream. It's too close. It was not this close. It was not this close. This is, this is, you guys, come on, no. <laughs> Blair Fairfield, thank you <laughs> very much for five gifties. It Luke, it looks, it Luke is giving out gifties. Oh my gosh, in what year? It Luke, thank you very much for 10 gifties. Oh my god, no, no, I don't want to read up the names anymore. <laughs> I think. I think it's now time to stop. <laughs> I think the time to stop is now. No, 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 no. <laughs> what the heck just happened, dude? The, the, how about let's just stop here? <laughs> have, you, have you thought of stopping right here? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wait, this this was not what I thought today was going to be. Let's see it right now. What do you mean let's see it right now? I cannot see it right now. I have to go freaking get the leak. I always I thought it was gonna be like end of this month, not like next day. I should have just kept the sub goal one million. <laughs> I don't have the leak. Are you crazy? I will. I will eat leak tomorrow. How about that? For we Wednesday. We'll celebrate Weeb Wednesday eating leek. Violet Melody Chambers, thank you very much with the Prime sub. And also thank you very much, Rex Mechanica with the 25 gifties. And Chili Sushi with 5 gifties. William B. Shakespeare with 5 gifties. And Too Close to Sub with 5 gifties. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the support with your 
sleek, loving hearts. Sev legs with the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. I'll I'll make it into a nice surprise tomorrow, okay? I'm not gonna spoil it out for you, but tomorrow I'm not just gonna sit and eat leek. I will I will put on a show. How about that? How I will put on a show and eat leek. Thank you for all the support. Thank you, thank you. A leek isn't as bad as an onion. <laughs> did you eat did you eat the leek raw by yourself? Leeks are way easier than the raw onion. Are you just saying that? I gotta get one tonight. Oh the flashback of Watanabe goes. It's not that bad. What's wrong with you, Kate? It's not that bad. Here's me with first ever face reveal eating raw onion and goes, it's not that bad. Onion is 17% worse than the leek. That sounds like very specific numbers, so I, oh, I trust you. Oh my gosh. What? What? This is for Miku. Miku, this is for you. They do taste really bad. This this is for Miku. This is for Miku. If anyone goes like, "Well, Kate, I thought you really liked Miku and you're not even married to Miku. What's wrong with you?" And I say, "I may not be married to Miku, but I ate raw leek for Miku." How much of your devotion goes Miku, I don't know. But mine went... So far, I'm eating raw leeks, dude. Welcome <laughs> tomorrow means more emote potential. All the emote fishers... All the fishers gotta freaking log in tomorrow, getting their... Getting their fishing gear ready, ready for my webcam. And they go, ah, waiting for the bait, waiting for... Reel it in! Reel it in, and then freaking they get good emo. And they go like, reel it in, girl. Reel that in. Get my net. Get my net. Get my net. Honker, honker. This is not what I expected how today will go. But thank you. Should I be thanking it? I think I feel like I should thanking it, but at the same time, I feel kind of betrayed. I cannot just, like, say thank you, 100%. I can only say thank you with 98%. <laughs> I just, like, feel like they kind of wanted to see me suffer maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they just want me to do great. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, they just want to be nice to me and they just wish the best for me. Yeah. You did get like 200 stuff for eating some food. Don't put it like that. Nobody eats, nobody categorizes a leek being food. It's ingredient. It's not like a plate of food. <laughs> Miku does. Miku does not get a plate of leek and go food. Dress Ryan as Miku. Hmm. Hmm. Me thinking. I think his legs are too. I think his butt is too. Hmm. <laughs> his butt. The skirt will not cover his butt. His skirt would just sit on his butt. You know what I mean? You know, like, I forgot when it was, maybe four days ago or something like that. I was playing with Luna, and then Ryan was just standing next to me, and I said, what are you doing? Why don't you sit down? And then he said, oh, I'm just checking myself out right now. And then I, he was looking at his reflection, and he was flexing his 
legs and go like, damn, got good legs. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and then I say, yep. Y y yep. I mean, I think it's good to have self-confidence and be proud of the work that you put into. That's my streamer. I feel like you share forbidden knowledge. Oh, come on. I'm sure freaking anyone who works out, they definitely check themselves out. Chat is surprised because none of the chat works out. Oof, oof, oof. Cut. 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 Okay, for... I'm just gonna clarify. Those of you who's gonna come back to my channel tomorrow to see me eat the leek. I'm not eating the whole leek. We have already set the rule. One bite in the green, one bite at the white, and then one bite in the middle. I... We... We... We set the rule yesterday. You can't... That's... That's just the rule. I'm getting the bites in of all parts of the leak. First, it was a one bite, and it got to three, okay? Be happy. Getting to three was too easy. Bro. Bro! Even you thought that was a push? No, no, I got played. Dang. The green part does not stress me out. The green and the white part, the transition part, doesn't really stress me out. The pure white part is stressing me out. That shit is gonna be as bad as onion. Ah, I forgot how the onion tasted. Ah, hey, now I have to get reminded. Is this yearly thing? Chat, when was the last time I ate the onion? Wasn't it about this time? Wasn't it like March or April? Something like that of last year? What the heck is going on, man? It became annual thing. Can someone check a date? Can someone check the date on the raw onion consuming February 15, 2023? Oh my god. <clears throat> well, I guess it's becoming annual thing without me actually. I thought I... Because I think it was either the March or the February. Someone wanted eating raw something challenge. And then I said, haha, sure, okay. How about 1 million sub for one chip challenge? And I thought... I was smart with it. And then... And then Miku Expo happened. And then this happened. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all thanks to the chat. I can't make it into a big deal. Because when I ate the raw onion, so many people said like, bro, what's the big deal? Like, I eat raw onion all the time. And she's getting paid hundreds of dollars to eat raw onion. Bro, how sheltered is she? And I was like, I don't even know where to start, honestly. But I should just own it and eat it and make it into a thing. Don't get gaslighted by Big Onion. Dude, that Big Onion was the most potent onion of all time. The whole house stank like onion. Like, it was intense. Ryan said, like, wow, why does that smell? <laughs> and then I was like, guys, I think, like, can you see how big this onion is? I don't think I can eat it. And then people were in chat were like, oh, it's just a camera angle. Just take a bite. Don't be a pussy. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll take a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> The hour-long fallout was so funny. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Because I couldn't taste anything. And I, didn't, I needed to wash out the, the onion juice coated in my mouth. And I was trying to eat candy. And then it tasted like onion. 
Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, what the hell? When did you make that? I made that? But hold on. Should I put that in the slideshow? Just a random image? I think that's gonna be hilarious. Annual. Wait, hold on, where's my slideshow? Um. Oh, you know what? I can add. <clears throat> Do you guys want image of baby Tomo? I'll add baby Tomo. And then. <clears throat> How about the original photo of lion dongers? Oh my gosh, I did eat the kiwi too! I think I'm starting to realize that I tend to forget traumatic... <laughs> traumatic... Occurrence? Oh, and I got baby Ruka as well. Okay, I have added the freaking... Oh, there's the onion! There's the onion! <laughs> That's the onion, dude. Yeah, dude, Ryan goes... Ryan actually eats kiwi with the skin. And I said, what's wrong with you? And he's like, I'm too lazy to get the spoon for it. So he just eats it like that. That's normal. That's not normal. Don't define normal with your standard. Zebber, thank you for the chicken. Oh, there's a lion dongers. It's the original photo of lion dongers, dude. You missed it? Oh, you blink, you miss. Yeah, dude. Why do you think he did the lion dongers? It's because that's when his uh, balls got cut. And so we have to put the cone on him so he doesn't lick is surgical area baby tomo did you see it did you see baby tomo that was baby ruka that's baby ruka when he had balls is that you humming austin You? There. <laughs> does she walk? Does she talk? Does she come complete? My home new home knows. angel always pulled me from my seat. She was pure like snowflakes, no one could ever stain. The memory of my angel could never cause me pain. Years go by, I'm looking through a girl in a magazine. There's my homeroom angel on the pages in between. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. Angel is the centerfold. Slip me notes under the desk when I was thinking about her dress. I was shy. I turned away before she caught my eye. How is she? Those soft fuzzy sweaters, too magical to touch. To see her in that negligee is really just too much. My blood runs cold and my memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. Oh yeah, angel is the centerfold. Okay. It's okay, I understand. This ain't no never, never land. I hope that blue is 
shoe's gone, I'll see you when your clothes are on. Take your car, yes we will, we'll take your car and drive it. Take it to a motel room and take them off in private. The part of me has just been ripped, pages from my mind are stripped. Oh no, I can't deny it, oh yeah, I just gotta buy it. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Na 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 na. All right, all right. One, two, three, four. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. That's unity, baby. I didn't even have to doubt it. I knew he was coming in. Na 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 My blood runs cold, my memory has just been sold. Angel is the centerfold, Angel is the centerfold. I think that was a pretty solid performance. Austin's A game is very good. I brought my A game, that's as good as it gets for me. So I, if you were expecting platinum, that's what you just got. So, I mean, obviously, hit the publish button on that one.